There are certain things that you should never say to a depressed person. The problem with you and I is what do we do? We give unsolicited advice. We're not experts. We don't know the basics. But when we see someone depressed, we start to give them advice. And we give them the worst advice. I'll share with you some things that you should never say to a depressed person. And many of you think, that, what's wrong with this? These are Islamic values, yes? Number one, if you have a conversation with a depressed person, don't ever tell them to look on the bright side. Look on the bright side. He's depressed. Brother, look on the bright side. If he was able to look on the bright side, do you think he would be depressed? This is the whole problem. He doesn't see a bright side. It's like telling a blind person that look at the sun. Oh, he can't see. So when you say to someone, look on the bright side, you're also judging. What are you doing? You're insinuating them that you're not grateful. You're not a grateful person. So number one, don't say to a depressed person, look on the bright side. It makes it a lot worse. Even though you might have the best of intentions, it makes it worse. Number two, be patient. And this is very dangerous. You know, two years ago, I had to bury a 30-year-old in one of our communities who died of suicide. Why? Because he was depressed. And all of the mu'mineen are telling him what? Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. This is not... If someone has cancer, do you tell them to be patient? Or do you tell them to go get treatment? When you say to a depressed person, be patient, what are you insinuating? What are you implying? That you're impatient. Another judgment. Number three, read this dua. Have you heard people like this in our community? Someone is clinically depressed. Read dua Joshin al-Kabir. Not Sahir, I'll give you the Kabir one, right? Read dua Joshin al-Kabir. Read this, read that. Now I'm not saying that dua doesn't have an effect. Allah says in the Quran, Allah bi dhikrillah tatma'innu al-qulub. That the remembrance of Allah brings tranquility to the hearts. But dua is only part of the solution. In the same way that when you are sick, dua is only part of the solution. You still take medicine. You still go to the doctor. So don't tell people, recite dua if you're depressed and you'll be fine. Because again, there is an implicit judgment in that statement. And that's what? That you need to step your game up. Recite dua, be a little bit more religious. This is very dangerous. Number four, and this is one of my favorites, just snap out of it. Snap out of it. As if there is a button that you push. Snap out of it, okay. There you go. I snapped out of it. This is very insensitive. Especially if you have never experienced depression. This is insulting. This is very insensitive. Just snap out of it. And number five, there are people who are suffering more than you. You know, someone is depressed. He's suffering or she's suffering. They say, oh, why are you, why are you depressed? There are people in Yemen that don't have food to eat. Well, there are people in Yemen that don't have food to eat. That's a tragedy. But that does, that does, does that mean I'm not suffering? There are people who are suffering more than you. Again, implicit judgment. Meaning that you're ungrateful. It's a judgment on the person's spirituality. 